What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is part two in a series all about abstract. In the previous video, we talked about the basics of abstract, why you'd wanna use it and how you use it, as well as getting you set up and ready to go. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about branches, sub-branches, and libraries. Let's get started. Okay, in our last video, we set up our organization and our project, we got some initial commits, and we even, we even started our very first branch, changing our layout a little bit. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about branches, sub-branches, and uh, using libraries inside of Abstract, which is a super powerful tool. So let's go to our files here, let's open up our login, and uh, let's just go right here, and we're gonna pull our layout down so it's kind of nice in the middle there. That looks quite a bit better. We like that more. And uh, I'm just gonna command S and again, I'm gonna commit those changes. Moved layout back to center, okay? Um, I can put in optional details here. It supports markdown, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna commit that change. I like that a lot more. So let's head back to our files and we'll click on the actual design that we changed. And uh, you can see uh, we can compare them. So now our latest version is here with our layout in the middle. And our, um, and our previous version where our layout was way up at the top, it's over here on the left. So I can compare, decide what I like. I can maybe comment and say, uh, I like this much better. That's not how you spell any of that. And uh, that looks pretty good. So let's get out of there. We've created that branch and I like that branch. And maybe I shared this to somebody and they said, like it, but the button shadow is off, okay? I'm gonna comment there, and then maybe that person could come back in and reply and say, could you fix that for me, okay? So um, we like the changes that designer A has made by moving the layout around, but we also want to uh, fix the button color. Well, how would we do that? We could go back and create a new branch off the master, but that's that doesn't have all of the um, all the changes that this layout changes branch has. Well, how about we just go into our layout changes, we'll make a new branch off of our layout changes. We'll say button shadow. So let's create that branch, button shadow, and now we can open up the login screen for button shadow, which pops open. You can see we're in that, we're in that uh, branch right now. And uh, let's just grab this color, which is a nice mauve kind of color. And let's come to the whole button and, and drop that same color into the shadow. We'll just lighten it back. That looks a lot better, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and save, and we're gonna commit that change. Changed button shadow to mauve, I think, and then we'll commit that change. Um, now we have a change that's taken place here. Let's go ahead and click on the change and we'll look at the difference. Oh, that is way, way better, way better, we comment um, on our design. And uh, I think I like this so much that I'd like to merge it into the previous branch. So how about we do that? We're gonna merge this. Any description you write will be added to the merge commit on layout changes. So uh, just changed button shadow. So we're gonna go ahead and merge and we're gonna archive at the same time. So now what you'll see is inside of our layout changes branch, stay with me, we have a new commit that happened just now and the button shadow has been fixed. Well, that's perfect. Now the button shadow has been fixed and the layout is fixed and I think we're ready to merge this thing into the master, into our single source of truth unless before we did that, we wanted to talk about libraries a little bit because that might be kind of a slick thing as well. So if we go over, we can see we have some, some change that's taken place in our login. Um, and that's great, let's open that back up. Let's see that. Uh, but let's also open up our design system because maybe what we wanna do is, I wanna take these buttons here and I'm going to copy them and I'm going to paste them here, and I'm going to turn them each into a, into a symbol. I'm gonna call this button BTN uh, filled, and I'm gonna turn this into a button, I'm gonna call it BTN lined, like that, okay? Let's save that, let's commit that change. Okay, we're gonna commit that change. 
And now that we have some buttons in our design system, maybe what we could do is come back and replace it with our button that is lined and replace it with our button that is filled. Now we're using actual buttons from our design system instead of local kind of like designs. So that's pretty great. We wanna save that as well and commit the changes and we'll say we are now using using a, a design system. Design system buttons, perfect. Let's commit that change and let's head back to abstract and see what that looks like. We can see that we added buttons to the system, that we, we are now using those design system buttons inside of our design. And I think now everything is pretty much ready to merge, which we will do in the next video. Now that we've done some awesome work inside of our branches, we're ready to get feedback, get the project reviewed, and get everything merged back into the master files. That's what we're gonna be doing in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and walkthroughs just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and check the description for some helpful links about abstract. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and exploring in the safety of your own branch. I'll see you in the next one.